Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Say hi, Roby. We are traveling this uh, this year for the first time ever. Uh, we have never left home for a holiday since we've been married. So we are on the road and I thought I would give y'all some tips about how to eat Thanksgiving uh, holiday dinner without gaining any weight and some mistakes, three big mistakes to avoid. Okay, so first, we'll start with the mistakes to avoid. Don't skip meals before Thanksgiving. So that some people don't go a minute without eating, but a lot of people save up. They will skip all day or the day before too and just kind of save up thinking if I don't eat then I can enjoy everything and I'll just save room for everything that I love there and then they gorge themselves and they're miserable and that is actually really really harmful to your body to do it that way um, you send your body into a shock not just with uh, sugar and insulin raising but also with sodium and that can really set you up for not just tummy troubles but it actually increases your risk for heart attack so don't do that number one uh, the other thing you know this has all been said before many years ago you, know, you should eat a spoonful of peanut butter before you go and you won't be as hungry the fat will satisfy you or a handful of nuts or something like that or drink a protein shake before you go or eat soup right before you go over to someone's house and eat dinner don't do that we all know we're gonna eat it anyway so all we've done by doing that is add peanut butter or nuts or soup or a protein shake to what we were already gonna eat anyway so really you're not gonna curve your appetite that much um, you're just gonna add unnecessary calories to it and calories that you really don't want anyway the other thing other big mistake is trying to eat healthy so to speak at a holiday meal Come on, if you're eating nutritiously, primarily most of the time anyway, one meal is not gonna make or break you. It's a holiday, not a holla week. So really kind of enjoy, plan on enjoying the meal and not dragging it out for a whole entire week or all day long. And you're gonna be able to eat every single thing that you love without wreaking havoc on your health without gaining weight and without feeling restrictive. Um, I personally am not a big turkey girl, so I'm not gonna fill my plate up with a lot of turkey trying to be healthy when I really don't like that much anyway. I like deviled eggs, so I'm going to get my protein from two or three deviled eggs, and I'm not even gonna bother eating the turkey. I don't like it anyway. Why waste my calories there? So I'm gonna eat, if my Thanksgiving is at noon, I'm gonna eat my normal breakfast. For me, that's oatmeal. I'm an oatmeal girl, so I'm either gonna eat oatmeal and eggs or oatmeal with fruit in it, one of the two. Um, and then I'm going to eat my Thanksgiving plate. And what that's gonna look like, what I tell my clients to do and what I personally practice and my husband does too, pick your two most favorite dishes. Uh, and if it's both of them are dessert, then hey, there you go. And eat a full serving of two of your favorites. Everything else, get a, literally a spoonful or two of everything else to round out your plate. The full serving is going to allow you to enjoy your favorites. You're not deprived, you're not restricting, you're not trying to diet at a holiday dinner, and you feel satisfied from that. And you're not saying, well, I'm not gonna eat dessert because you know I'm gonna eat all this other stuff and I'm gonna skip dessert. We all know that we're gonna feel left out a little bit and probably gonna eat dessert anyway. So just plan ahead, and if you've planned to allow yourself that treat, you're not gonna feel guilty about it. It You've worked it into your routine. Now, if my meal was at Thanksgiving lunch, then that evening, I'm gonna eat a lighter supper. So I am gonna eat chicken and salad, or if you love turkey, eat turkey again, but um, I'm gonna eat something lighter and a little bit easier on my digestion. I always do my green smoothies. That is where I'm gonna fill in the gaps nutritionally. I'm not gonna eat salad and roasted vegetables or something at Thanksgiving that I eat all the time normally anyway. It's a special occasion and a special meal. So I'm going to eat the special food. I'm just going to pick two for a full serving and a spoonful of everything else. I can eat salad and roasted vegetables any old day. So I'm not going to again 
waste my calories there because ultimately calories are what matter and calories are what's going to make you gain weight or not. So even though they're healthy, they're still calories. So again, I'm just going to eat my green smoothie is where I'm going to get my um, vitamins and all of that. And you can see my video and recipes for the green smoothie. If you want those recipes, comment below and I'll email them to you when I get home. But anyway, that's, I fill in the gaps there. The green smoothie kind of will um, make me feel like I got my nutrition and my vegetables without having to actually eat those at the holiday meal. It'll curb my appetite in the afternoon. It helps ease my digestion. So I'm real big fan of the green smoothies. Um, if my Thanksgiving is going to be, some people do, there's kind of mid-afternoon, like three or four o'clock or early supper, I guess it would be. Go ahead and eat a regular breakfast. Eat a really light lunch. I would probably at that time do a vegetable soup with um, maybe a little bit of avocado in it or something like that. And then I might do a green smoothie a little bit, you know, an hour or something before I get to the meal just to cut the appetite because... I would be hungry by then, like starving by then. Um, and then again, I do the, my holiday meal the same way as I just explained. Oops. Um, and then as, if my Thanksgiving dinner would be at supper time, I would eat a normal breakfast. My lunch would be light, salad or soup with a little bit of chicken. And then I would eat my, oops, sorry guys, the we're parking, um, sun's in my face. Um, and then I would eat my supper, you know, my holiday Thanksgiving supper, just like I explained, a full serving of two of my favorites and then a spoonful or two of everything else. Uh, talk about a serving real quick. What's a serving? For you a, and for me personally and for everybody, it's an individual is the size of your fist or your hand. So take into account the thickness of your hand if you're using your hand. Um, and if you're using your fist, you know, kind of guesstimate how big a slice of pie that's going to be. I'm not a big fan of doing a sliver of pie. If you want to do a couple slivers of pie, if that's your treat and that's your favorite thing, you want to do a couple slivers of pie um, to make your one serving, absolutely go for that. If, uh, you know, you don't, you just want a sliver, that's fine too, but I'm not in the mood of, to share dessert or share my favorites. I'm just going to allow for those things into my day and into my meal and then I'm going to be fine. The next day, again, I'm going to do some easy digestive foods, my green smoothies, my soups, and my salads and things, just to kind of ease digestion, but just go back to normal the next day. It's a treat that way. You participated. Um, God loves celebration and food, and He wants us to, to celebrate and eat with one another and be thankful, so do that. Just do it in a, in a mindful way. So hopefully some of these tips helps you guys. If you have questions, comment below. If you like it, let me know. I see some people joined, Ron and Tom. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving, Mary and Jerry. I appreciate y'all guys joining. And uh, like and share the video. And I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.